Did you know that one submarine has enough nuclear power to end life on the planet? In all of World War II, the world used 5 megatons of explosive. But a Trident 2 missile carries 12 warheads, which is equal to 5 megatons of explosive. It is undoubtedly the most dangerous weapon till date. A single Ohio-class US submarine can carry 24 Trident 2 missiles. In this video, let's understand the technology and design behind this deadly weapon carrier. A submarine weighs around 48,000 tons. The Russian Typhoon class submarine is 175 meter long and 23 meter wide, and it cruises 250 meter below water level. The submarines need to be quiet and invisible so that they can stay undetectable. On the surface, the submarines are very similar to ships, but when it comes underwater, there are very interesting differences between them. The ship needs to make sure that the underwater part of the vessel displaces enough water to provide buoyancy so that the ship can stay afloat. But for submarines, it is a little different. On the surface, just like ships, the submarine displaces enough water to provide positive buoyancy. But when it comes to underwater, the weight of the ship has to be more than the water it displaces. This principle is called the Archimedes principle. The Archimedes principle states that when a body is immersed in a water, it experiences an upward buoyant force equal to the weight of the water it displaces. This buoyant force is what makes the object float or feel lighter in water. If the buoyant force is greater than the weight of the object, the object will float. But if it's less, it will sink. When the weight of the submarine is equal to the weight of the water it displaces, it reaches a neutral buoyancy and it can stay at a constant depth. To achieve this, the submarines are designed with ballast tanks. Ballast tanks are compartments within the hull that can be filled with water or emptied of water to control the submarine's buoyancy and depth underwater. So when the submarines need to submerge, they fill the ballast tanks with water and when they need to ascend, they pump out the water from the ballast tanks. Now a submarine needs to stay upright when underwater. How can they do it? The ship can stay upright because of its shape. So when the ship leads slightly underwater, the shape of the water changes, separating the center of buoyancy and center of gravity and create a moment to ride the ship. This is how counterintuitively the center of gravity can be above the center of buoyancy. However, a submarine can't do that. When fully submerged, the underwater shape remains constant. No matter how much it leans, the center of buoyancy doesn't change. Instead, you can rely on keeping the center of gravity below the center of buoyancy. The stability of the submarine is provided by the force of gravity and force of buoyancy pulling in the opposite direction. It is easy underwater. You just need to place the heavy objects on the lower part of the submarine. But it's difficult on the surface. Think about it. As the submarine emerges, the center of buoyancy drops down because it is the center of the underwater volume. If it drops too low below the center of gravity, the submarine will just flop over. This is why the submarine appear to float really low in the water. They just need to keep the center of buoyancy above the center of gravity. For lateral movement or sideways turning, the submarine rely on vertical rudders. The forward motion is achieved with the use of propellers. Now how the submarine navigate through the dark ocean? For this, the submarine uses the sonar technology. A sonar technology sends pulses of sound waves, usually in the form of high frequency sound bursts into the water. When these sound waves encounter an object, they reflect back the sound wave from the object's surface back towards the sonar device. The sonar system detects the returning sound waves and calculates the time it takes to return back. By calculating the time taken and the direction of the returning sound wave, the sonar system can determine the distance, shape, and size of the object. Submarine sonar technology is useful for navigation and defense, but it's not that good for marine life due to its noise emission. To address this concern, submarines are exploring alternative technologies like LiDAR, light detection and ranging. LiDAR employs light to estimate distance. Another alternative technology that has been explored is MRS. This is based on magnetic field. Modern submarines are usually cigar shaped. This design is visible from very early submarines and it is called a teardrop hull. It is structurally efficient to withstand external pressure and helps the submarine to reduce hydrodynamic drag when underwater. The pressure hull of a deep sea submarine is usually spherical in shape and this is because it helps symmetrically distribute the load. Unlike ships, the submarine's bow are not pointy 
and this is because the huge sonar device is usually placed on the bow of a submarine. Have you wondered why submarines are black, not blue? Because stealth is one of the most important function of a submarine. See, nuclear power submarines can stay underwater for long periods, surfacing only when the food supply is exhausted. If the food and the crew can be managed, they can stay up to 10 years underwater. Of course, there are times when they need to surface because of a medical emergency or for a major repair. On the other side, the diesel engine submarines need to surface often more, mostly because of refueling. During World War I, the US Navy found that their submarines can easily be spotted by enemy aircrafts when they surface for refueling. The naval scientists conducted various experiments to give the submarines maximum protection against visual detection and eventually decided upon a light grey paint for the body and black for the deck. In fact, the Navy found another problem. The black deck is visible from air unless the submarine is too deep underwater. So by World War II, the submarine decks were painted dark blue as it provides best camouflage in shallow waters. However, they found the blue color deteriorates and it fades fast. So now again, the original black color is chosen for durability. It may be interesting to know that modern submarines are not painted at all. Instead, they're covered with anechoic tiles, which improves their stealth capability. Anechoic tiles are rubber or synthetic polymer tiles, contains thousands of tiny holes applied to the outer hull of military ships and submarines. The function of these tiles are twofold. Firstly, to absorb active sonar used by the enemy. And secondly, to absorb the internal sounds, especially from the engine room. Some of the submarines have their bottom painted red. This red paint contains copperous oxide that keeps away algae, which causes damage over a long period of time. This is the same reason why some of the ships and boats paint their lower part with red. The topmost deck of a military submarine is typically outfitted with torpedoes which serve as weapons. The lowest deck houses the battery rooms that provide electricity to the submarine. And in between them is the diesel room, motor room, and the nerve center of the submarine, the control room. Above the control room is the coning tower, which is the main attack center of the submarine. The coning tower is equipped with various instruments like the periscope, which is used for observing the surrounding, the electronic antennas. The coning tower is also important because it is the only entry and exit point from the submarine. The torpedoes are stored in torpedo tubes. They are basically self-propelled underwater missiles. In modern submarines, the torpedoes are usually placed at the front. While early attempts such as those by Alexander the Great were very rudimentary, the advent of propulsion system, fuel, sonar, propelled an increase in submarine technology. The introduction of diesel engine and then nuclear submarine saw expansion in submarine use and especially in military use World War I and II and the Cold War helped solidify the submarine place in popular culture. If you like this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this.